So it's not contingent on any new factory or massive new production line. Uh, it, it'll be made on our current production lines much more efficiently. And, and we think this should allow us to get to uh, over 3 million vehicles of, of capacity. Elon Musk emphasizes Tesla's goal of continuous improvement and innovation. The Tesla Model 2, Redwood with a production potential of over 3 million units, is a prime example of this commitment. It boasts an operational power output of up to 340 horsepower, 1.5 times that of the Nissan LEAF, and a fast charging capability twice as quick as the Chevrolet Bolt EV, an impressive figure for the small electric vehicle segment. So, how is Tesla developing the Redwood to stand out? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 3,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. How is the production plan for the Model 2 Redwood progressing? Tesla is building and expanding factories, including gigafactories in Berlin, Texas, and other production facilities to increase manufacturing capacity. These factories will play a key role in producing the Model 2 Redwood. The goal is to produce 3 million Redwood units annually, which may also help reduce production costs through large-scale automation and robotics. Production costs could decrease by 10 to 15 percent compared to Tesla's current models. The company has upgraded its manufacturing processes to reduce waste by 30 percent and optimize production efficiency by up to 60 percent, thereby increasing productivity and shortening production time. Additionally, Tesla appears to have completed the development and deployment of fast charging technology. The next generation supercharger can reduce charging time to just 7 minutes for 80% battery capacity, significantly extending the vehicle's range. The expansion of the supercharger network and improvements in charging efficiency will help reduce the time needed for a full charge. This innovation could positively impact Tesla's other products and the entire electric vehicle industry. The Model 2 Redwood is expected to generate an additional $15 to $32 billion in revenue. It is slated for an official launch in late 2024 or early 2025, with the exact date depending on production progress and other factors in the electric vehicle market. What makes the Tesla Model 2 Redwood priced at just $25,000? First, the Model 2 Redwood utilizes lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries which are more cost-effective to produce compared to NCA nickel-cobalt aluminum or NCM nickel-cobalt manganese batteries. The total raw material cost for LFP batteries is typically 30 to 50 percent lower than traditional lithium batteries, primarily due to the lower cost of iron and phosphate compared to nickel and cobalt. This can reduce battery production costs by up to $5,000 per vehicle, depending on the size and version of the car. The production process for LFP batteries is generally simpler, reducing manufacturing costs by 10 to 20 percent and requiring fewer complex processing steps than NCA or NCM batteries. Additionally, LFP batteries have a longer lifespan and better heat resistance than NCA batteries, lowering warranty-related insurance costs for Tesla. LFP batteries are also considered environmentally friendly as they use abundant materials and fewer precious metals saving approximately $300 in material costs. This makes LFP technology an efficient and practical solution for the Redwood 2025, significantly reducing total production costs and enabling the lower retail price of the Redwood. This approach provides customers with an affordable yet high-performing electric vehicle. Additionally, Model 2 features a simple and efficient design with an overall size reportedly smaller than other Tesla models like the Model Y and Model 3, helping to reduce production and material costs. It performs well in crowded urban areas and tight parking spaces. Despite its smaller size, the Model 2 Redwood is said to embody the spirit of the Model Y while delivering high performance and an engaging driving experience, allowing enthusiasts to own it at a more affordable price. The interior is minimalist with a 15-inch control screen in the center of the dashboard, synthetic leather materials, and a spacious 300-liter cargo area. The Model 2's interior design is simpler and more sustainable while still ensuring basic comfort. 
Additionally, Tesla leverages its large-scale production and long-term partnerships with suppliers, such as Key ATL and Panasonic, to negotiate better prices for raw materials and components. For example, Tesla's strategic collaboration with battery manufacturers like KTL ensures cost savings of 10 to 20 percent, compared to retail or market prices, while maintaining high material quality. Furthermore, Tesla leverages tax policies and incentives for electric vehicles to make the Model 2 Redwood more attractive and competitive in the market. The company designs its vehicles to meet emission standards and strategically tracks the federal tax credits available for its models, optimizing release timing to maintain the benefits of federal tax credits of up to $7,500. Tesla also takes advantage of state and local incentives, such as tax reductions, parking perks, and other policies, to expand its market. Additionally, Tesla leverages government policies to expand its supercharger network and incentivize home charging station installations, offering customers $1,000 for setting up a charger. These efforts not only make the Model 2 Redwood more accessible, but also attract a broader range of potential customers. Finally, Tesla employs a cost reduction strategy that plays a crucial role in making the Redwood an affordable model. The company plans to expand its market, creating opportunities for more consumers while intensifying competition with rivals in the same segment. Assuming 65% of the global population shows interest in the brand, Tesla prices the Redwood to boost brand recognition to 80% worldwide. Tesla uses a more cost-efficient communication strategy compared to competitors, relying primarily on launch events, word of mouth, and social media to attract attention. This approach also reduces overall corporate expenses. Moreover, Tesla places significant emphasis on customer care, further enhancing trust and customer loyalty, which contributes to repeat business and brand advocacy. How well does the Model 2 equipped with LFP batteries perform in cold conditions? Previously, the Tesla Model 2 was rumored to come with LFP cells and a 53 kilowatt hour battery. The advantage of iron phosphate chemistry is that it allows for the production of battery packs that are much cheaper compared to current lithium-ion batteries, which cost over $150 per kilowatt hour, while LFP costs below $100 per kilowatt hour. Although LFP has a lower energy density compared to lithium-ion, especially with the advancement of the 4680 batteries that Tesla is using in more expensive and heavier models like the Cybertruck, they can be safely charged to full capacity each time. Additionally, CATL has M3P technology that adds manganese to increase the energy density of phosphate batteries by up to 15%. CATL has unveiled a new fast-charging LFP cell that performs significantly better in cold weather. This could be something Tesla aims to use in the Model 2, and the 4C charging rate means the battery can be fully charged in just 15 minutes. It could even achieve a 10-minute charge in typical cases when charging from 20% to 80%. However, a major advantage of the new battery technology that could appear in the Model 2 is that even in freezing temperatures, it can still be fully charged in half an hour. An example shows that lithium batteries faced issues during the extreme cold snap in Chicago at the beginning of 2024, where a charge that should have taken 45 minutes ended up taking up to two hours at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Not only does charging electric vehicles in freezing conditions seem to take longer, but some public EV chargers also fail to operate, adding to people's frustration. Therefore, the breakthrough of second-generation LFP battery technology will become increasingly important for Tesla, especially for the Model 2, which targets the affordable vehicle segment for the general public. If you are enjoying this content so far, make sure that you liked the video and join us for daily episodes by subscribing to Techno Creator Channel. We always appreciate your support. How will the 6C fast charging technology be applied to the Model 2? Recently, Tesla's battery supplier KTL appears to be researching even faster EV charging batteries at what is known as a 6C rate. This means a full charge in about 10 minutes or reaching 80% in even less time. This would allow electric vehicles to achieve refueling times comparable to traditional internal combustion cars. The reason people are shifting towards 6C electric vehicles 
is the recognition that slow electric vehicle sales are affected by charging speed and availability. People want their electric cars to charge in a time comparable to refueling ICE vehicles at gas stations. The 10-minute charging speed will be announced as part of the second-generation Kirin battery architecture, which includes improvements in both packaging and battery chemistry. To achieve this ultra-fast EV charging speed for practical applications in mass-market electric vehicles like the Model 3 or Model Y, and especially the upcoming Model 2, CATL will use hybrid chemistry technology that combines lithium with iron phosphate. The battery technology will add 5% of more expensive metals to the lithium-based battery for high-performance electric vehicles to achieve the 6C charging speed with maximum thermal management capabilities of up to 16 kilowatts. The use of large surface liquid cooling technology will increase heat transfer area by four times, reduce thermal control time by half, and support hot starts in five minutes and fast charging in 10 minutes. Additionally, this long-awaited battery technology is expected to significantly increase the range for the battery packs used in the Model 3 and Model Y in the Chinese market to up to 620 miles. However, the estimates for China differ from those in the United States, where the range is estimated to be up to 350 miles. The reason is that CATL's Kirin battery has a 13% higher capacity compared to Tesla's 4680 battery cells, which currently achieve an energy density of about 244 watt-hours per kilogram with the same size and chemical composition. It has been shown to achieve the highest volumetric utilization in the world for electric vehicle batteries. 72% of the total pack size consists of individual battery cells that can reach an energy density of up to 255 watt-hours per kilogram. According to the original plan, the Model 2 only needs a 53 kilowatt hour battery sufficient for a range of 250 miles with reduced weight. This is considered quite feasible, as there are currently many LFP battery technology options for Tesla to implement its plan. One of these technologies boasts superior energy density, with a range of over 600 miles produced directly in the U.S. This comes from Goshen's Battery Factory in Michigan, featuring the newly launched LMFP cells with an energy density of 240 watt-hours per kilogram. This could allow for a range of over 400 miles from the base Model 3 battery and likely a similar range for the upcoming Model 2, as it is about 20% lighter than the Model 3 3. The importance lies in the fact that battery technology produced in the U.S will enable buyers to receive a tax credit worth $7,500, allowing them to purchase a Model 2 for around $17,000 to $18,000. Furthermore, some tasks that Tesla has demonstrated they can accomplish include reducing the price of the Model 2 and equipping the vehicle with a crucial feature that promises to surpass all competitors in the market. What technology is it? The very high production plan revealed by Elon Musk for Tesla's first electric vehicle may have led to a large order for the next generation 3 nanometer chips that the company has placed with TSMC, a semiconductor manufacturing company. Coincidentally, Elon Musk announced that Hardware 5 will be assembled into vehicles by the end of 2025, which means the Model 2 will be equipped with this impressive technology. In any case, Tesla is preparing to utilize the downtime of the self-driving computers, such as in the FSD Hardware 4 or Hardware 5, to run AI inference computations outside of the centers equipped with NVIDIA 8100. With Tesla reportedly having signed contracts with Samsung's foundries to produce Hardware 5 chips, expected to begin in 2026. TSMC's N3P process may be used to significantly increase production in 2025. This positions Tesla's upcoming Model 2, the first electric vehicle aimed at the mass market, as a reasonable cause for the strong increase in orders for Hardware 5. The initial production rate for the Model 2 that Tesla is targeting at Giga Texas is reportedly 10,000 vehicles per week, or about half a million vehicles per year. However, this figure is quite ambitious for a brand new model in the lineup, especially considering that the production volume of the Cybertruck, after one year of its official launch, only reached 1,000 units per week.
This number is far from achieving the goal of assembling 4 million affordable electric vehicles per year, but production is expected to ramp up quickly. By 2026, the time frame when most electric vehicle manufacturers plan to release affordable electric models under $25,000 for the public, Tesla also aims to enter the market. So what could prevent Tesla from producing an affordable vehicle? Please share your opinion below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this, join Techno Creator by subscribing, and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. Thanks for watching.